I look forward to the witnesses. I'll just make a couple of remarks. Uh, this hearing provides a great opportunity to, to see what uh, some non-governmental witnesses think of the threats that we face in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Um, we both, we all know that we've spent uh, billions in Afghanistan since 2001. We've seen some progress. However, security has declined as the Taliban and other militant groups have reorganized. As a result, there were 155 combat-related deaths, U.S. deaths, in Afghanistan in 2008. This is the most since we've started operations in 2001. Clearly, we need to reassess our strategy. In Pakistan, we continue to spend a lot of money on coalition support funding. Uh, but this effort has yield, yielded limited success. I think it's also incumbent on us uh, to see if the cost of this policy outweigh the benefits. Where might we better spend that money? Does it require more? Does it require less? It needs to be reevaluated. Since taking office, President Obama has already shifted policy in Afghanistan. In uh, February, uh, on the 17th, he ordered 17,000 additional troops to be sent there. This will bring our total to about 55,000. That's for U.S. troops. That's the largest uh, number we've ever seen deployed in that country, from the, from, from the U.S. at least. After having ordered the troops into combat, however, the President will result, receive the results of a high-level review. It seems a little backwards. We, we uh, say, all right, we're going to send 17,000 more, and then we'll conduct a top-to-bottom review to see how they might best be deployed, or if we need to deploy them, or if we should deploy more. Um, we, we should have a clear policy. Where we've seen success in other areas, most notably in Iraq, it was after we had a clear uh, defined strategy and then had our troop levels match and had our policy match the strategy that we had, uh, had outlined. And it seems to be that we're going a bit uh, backwards here. Um, notably absent from this hearing is a representative from the administration uh, to describe uh, where, where we're going, where, who the enemy is, uh, in what ways do we re need to reassess. It would seem uh, that, uh, that, again, this should be done before uh, deployment of more troops uh, rather than after. Uh, I realize that that review uh, will be completed before most of those troops arrive in Afghanistan, but there's a lot of preparation that needs to go into it. And, uh, and uh, it seems to me that we should uh, do the assessment first. I should note that this is not uh, just a, a partisan issue. It's not just Republicans saying this. Uh, yesterday, the AP reported that uh, John Murtha, who holds a fairly important position <laughs> on the Appropriations Committee, uh, estimated that it would take as many as 600,000 troops to fully squelch violence in that country. Uh, quote, Murtha also said he's uncomfortable with President Barack Obama's decision to increase the number of troops in that country by 17,000 before a goal was clearly defined. Uh, it's not just Republicans saying this. It's, it's people across the board saying, let's define the goal. Let's reassess our strategy uh, before we make clear commitments here. Uh, absent a uh, policy statement from the White House on this, uh, I'm inclined, as much as I uh, don't usually, uh, to agree with Mr. Bertha here, that, that we, we sh we're putting the cart before the horse. We, we should see the strategy outlined. We ought to have the reassessment before we decide how many troops and how they should be deployed. And with that, uh, I thank the Chairman again for calling the, the hearing and look forward to the witnesses. Uh, thank you, Mr. Flake. Thank you for your